can see there is Samity right here. You know, like I said, I'm stuck in between the realms of God and lie. And I see a guy who looks a lot like him, you know, sitting close to close that bus stop. <laughs> Film them up, you know, permission out. I wouldn't want somebody doing that to me. But I'm right by Manchester and Fig, right where I saw that evil motherfucker. Uh, that guy. Hey, brother, how you doing, sir? Doing all right, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I was him talking. I need to take a shower. But, um, you know, anyways, with that being said, I'm good, sir. I'm good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, with that being said, um, that guy reminds me of Darren Samity. Without going into a lot of detail, um, you know, I believe I may have encountered a spirit guide yesterday, as a matter of fact. Uh, with that being said, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. You know, I no longer feel like I'm in the world of the living. And in the situation I'm caught up in right now, you know, I feel like I'm in between the realms. I'm being shown in many ways. I keep hearing saying the word day is trying to manipulate, you know, uh, shit that I'm seeing here come across because this is just too fucking weird I feel bound to her uh, hell realm you know that's attached to my consciousness You know, like I say, the minute I say something, these er evil ass parasitic entities will start to act on it. You know, it's like they magnify your consciousness times 100 so you can feel the thank you, miss, the physical effects. Sorry, the physical effects of it, um, which is very, very dangerous. You know, with that being said, I'm not supposed to die. And I feel like my debt got artificially induced. Um, I shouldn't be dead at this age. So with that being said, I'm close to it. You know, it's a bunch of selfish people that I'm getting worried about in the spirit world who are trying to artificially induce me to the point of that. And I don't like it. And they're fucking up my consciousness, distorting it, warping it. I feel something right now with my consciousness being fucked with, you know, as I talk. But I find that it helps to do these videos. You know, hopefully, you know, like I say, you know, I see people sleeping, driving at the wheel. White masks superimposed on people's faces. I got some evil shit trying to control my consciousness right now as I talk. And, uh... You know, it's not supposed to be like this. It, it's not supposed to be your consciousness crowded with fucking entities that are just fucking your shit up. 
you know, with that being said, I hope in the future to get a lot of spiritual help. Now, I'm also go ahead and say this as well. I had somebody comment, and I've seen it as well and felt it, that there's a barrier that's around my consciousness. I don't like this shit. I really don't. You know, um, there's probably even more powerful frequencies to break spiritual barriers. You know, there's one that's preventing people from being able to get in, and I don't like that. So I'm controlling one of my spirit guides, one of my entity attachments right now as I talk and trying to control and manipulate what I say. And I don't like that. I really don't like that. You know, I miss being free flowing. I miss being honest and just telling my objective truth and not holding back. You know, I've been trying to get to the truth about Saren, uh, Baron Samity. I'm going to say something right now. I feel like every time I talk about something that's truthful or that can help me out, I start to get intimidated by these entities. But with that being said, as I wanted to say before, I got to take a shower. I haven't taken a shower all day because I was out here all this fucking morning praying and crying because I'm being antagonized by these spirits every single fucking night. I'm having, from what I'm understanding... These entities bear insanity. Um, you know, like I said before, has been from what I've been told, given my timelines to uh, Mikey Hernandez and Dan Arcienega. I have my doubts about it. You know, and all these racist ass motherfucking wetbacks who have a problem with blacks. Santa Word Day. Um... Uh, what's his name? There's a bunch of them that are, you know, from what I understand, they're racist, wetback bitch at that Santa Muerte shop on 8704 Broadway, who I keep pointing out, who sacrificed me to uh, that realm. There's too much weird shit that's going on, and I feel like something's trying to block me from getting the answers and make it ever harder when I start to just, you know, clear my throat and speak my peace and speak the truth and try to get to the point of it. Um, you know, they've been dimming out my consciousness so my thoughts could have a physical effect in the spirit world and hurt a, uh, a spirit guide or entity trying to fucking help. That's what I've been trying to, in so many ways, articulate. No, I don't like this shit. It, I saw Madonna's highest self in my consciousness. Madonna Cicione is her real name. And for some strange reason, these entities ain't worried about what I say anymore. You know, in the past they were. It would have an effect, but I'm just going to say this. Use 6666 hertz as well as 666 hertz on uh, entities. They've been doing something. I think it's the union of having Baron Samity along with Hecate's power, which they stole from me. Uh, that's being used to manipulate things, like I say, it's partially all within, but it's also external in the astral plane. You know, and I've seen that they've been harbored and taken my astral body parts and used that to steal a lot of my uh, spiritual abilities and powers. You know, how I can give these people so much power over my consciousness is beyond me. But, um... You know, um, you know, I felt the presence of them evil motherfuckers who put this shit on me. I 
cara, é o Lord. Well, cala. Um, you know, I'm trying to find the names of the real people that's involved. You know, I have the Joe Mancini. It's one of the people that I post. But anyway, it's not to ruminate. You know, like I said, I'm just going to say it like this. There's a major barrier that's been erected. But um, I'm trying to figure out what's going on that's hindering folks. You know, this is, I, I don't like this, man. This is all too weird. I like being able to speak my truth, speak my peace, and let me get something, clarification on something. Just on the situation, what's happening is, is that these motherfuckers keep fucking up uh, my consciousness and manipulating it in the astral plane. From what I'm gathering, it's, uh, it's, uh, David Rayner, or what's his name? Alcala's, or Elkillard, or some Alcala's, or Ocala's, um, you know, these people are very big on using disguises in the astral plane, who keeps manipulating my consciousness, like having Baron Samity taken out of my body like he did last night. I barely had any consciousness left, and I felt like I was about to pass out while praying. That's how bad it got uh, to block me from being able to get back in my original consciousness, as well as get back my original timelines, my astral body parts, you know, you can use 3571 hertz as well as 3517 hertz to resurrect this shit. We all have Melchizedek, just like we all have Jesus Christ, God. And that's, um, without saying too much, the ferryman in the uh, afterlife. And it's not my time to go. You know, and like I said, I'm being manipulated heavily by some extremely <coughs> evil, sadistic ass entities <coughs> that are trying to, you know, put things in the way, put things in my path to keep you from uh, telling the truth, keep me from telling the truth, and keep me in a mental bind. And I don't like that. You know, from what I'm gathering, the next thing after this is death. And, you know, again, I'm supposed to die at the age of 86. You know, I'm trying to figure out how to break the barriers that these people like Santa Worthy and all of that put up around your consciousness. You know, I saw it last night when I was in the consciousness of the people who first put this curse on me, Ingrid Hybert and all of that. So I know I'm definitely not in the realm of the living. Uh, so that I wouldn't be able to get any sort of spiritual help. You know, that's why I'm just putting everything out there on Front Street, not really giving a fuck. Um, so I'm trying to get me to focus on mentally something so I could fuck it up and then I get an intrusive thought and it does in fact physically fuck something up and I get my disgusting ass spirit guy spirit guides and you know like my higher selves did in the past blaming me for something you can't really control you know they should have never let it get this fucking bad and I wish I would have never spoke with them roach attachments but they were the only things helping me and see things with clarity and see the truth So with that being said, um, you know, it's funny. You know, I don't like to think when I'm thinking about Baron Samity right now, but I'm on the fence. 
you know, it's funny that coincidentally, I saw a manifestation of him. That's what I believe that guy to be, sitting right there. You know, I will say this. I heard in the astral plane that in his timelines, when I dropped his docs, that's, that's why I don't want to put his shit out there again. He was pushing a uh, shopping cart. Like I say, there's a lot of deception, but there's strength in numbers. And because I have no spiritual protection, you know, these motherfuckers want to keep me and my long spirit got isolated. So with that being said, you know, I'm trying to find a frequency to break whatever barrier Santa word in. and he and all of them set up to keep people from being able to come in. So from being able to enter. With that being said, all I know is 1135 hertz, 114, uh, 700 hertz to 114, 730 hertz to disable frequency. I don't know if anything else that can disable barriers. You know, so, you know, whereas in the past I was a lot more accessible, I'm not anymore. So something happened. So anyways, to anybody out there, you know, I need y'all help. I'm not going to lie. You know, just make sure to use protection. Peace. You know, with that being said, I want to go ahead and say this, that in the middle of the night, um, you know, I've been trying to work with, you know, a different spirit team to try to bring about. A different change within me and with that being said it got overloaded by some really really evil sadistic shit in the middle of the night and um i just don't know what to do anyways to break barriers use 115 uh 115 hertz and 155 155 hertz as well as um what was the other one I'm feeling like something's draining something from my consciousness right now. It's coming from them evil ass people. And, um, you know, they're doing this in part because they don't want me shining the light on them. Um, you know, I'm just going to say this bare insanity is entity attachment was very, very sadistic. He opened up the door for them evil ass entity attachments of Mikey Hernandez and all of them to come in. His ancestors to come in and barge in as well as that evil entity in particular to fuck us up. So with that being said, it's 115 hertz. Uh, another one is 165, 165 hertz piece. 